everybody welcome back to the haven family farm my name is chris and today we're going to be working on little blue our tc 45 da hydro tractor uh, we're going to be working on uh, replacing a switch for the pto so let's get started so uh, a little while ago in the fall i was doing some uh, bush hogging for a customer and uh, i got off the tractor i it was late in the season and i had a whole bunch of uh, goldenrod fluff build up in the grill and I had to stop and clean it off. Uh, the radiator had plugged up and everything. So I shut the tractor down. I went to start, it wouldn't start. So I'm gonna show you here quick, you gotta watch. Here's a PTO light. Um, oh, it's actually not gonna light up here, let me. Okay, so you see how the PTO light is on. Well, the PTO light is only on when the lever is engaged here. So I'm gonna turn that, or pull that lever back and that light goes out. Problem is, when I was going to start the tractor, that light was staying on, but the PTO lever was back. So basically, it was telling the tractor that the PTO was on, but it wasn't, so it wouldn't let me start the tractor. So I went down and I fiddled a bunch with the switch, uh, kind of you know unplugging it, plugging it back in type of thing, and I was getting ready to cut the wires and jump them together, and finally it decided it was going to work. Um, I was. I was about 75% done that day with the, the brush cutting, so I didn't shut the tractor off the rest of the day, so I didn't have to deal with it. But I went ahead and ordered the switch, um, so I, you know, I, I don't want any issues. So that's what we're going to change today, is that PTO switch. So let's crawl under the tractor, I'll show you where it is, and see what we have to do to change it. <laughs> Here's actually some of the junk I was bush hogging, you can see how fuzzy it was at the very end of the season there and it was just plugging everything up radiator the screen just couldn't whew. sorry I messed with that anyway <laughs> so our PTO switch that we need to uh, replace is way up here and uh, our light is getting sometimes it would be nice to have another hand see if i can do this here okay so the switch we need to replace is right here uh it's, i think it just basically pops in there if i remember correctly it just kind of snaps up in there it unplugs and then there's just uh some plastic little snaps that snap it up in there i don't believe there's any tools uh bolts or anything that really hold it up in there so uh, let me work on getting that out and then I'll show you uh, kind of what it looks like and maybe I can kind of try and position the camera to show you kind of putting it back in uh, as best I can. All right, here's the old switch. Here's the new switch. Here is the... Gosh darn it, sorry. Tight working quarters here. Trying to get you the part number. Here's the part number. But basically, um, this, uh, the old switch popped out the top of the hole. So we're just going to, you have to unplug it first. And then the switch popped out the top of the hole. So now we're gonna pop the new one in down from the top and then plug it in. So I'll see if I can position you so you can see uh, you know, what we're doing here.
All right, well, you get the general idea there. I, <laughs> I need two hands. Hang on a second. Okay, there she is, all plugged in. Now, one little thing to note that was a little bit tight. I'll try and show you here. There's, if I could get the screwdriver in here, these little tabs right here were very tight to open up. I used this little dinky screwdriver here to pry these tabs out gently. Now they're plastic, so be careful, but you gotta pry these little tabs out here. That's what locks this switch in so it doesn't pop up out of this metal holder. Um, so you, you know, you gotta do that, otherwise it's gonna flop around in there. I just put some dielectric grease on there and plug this back in and we should be all set. All right guys, that wraps up this video here. Another simple uh, switch video. That switch basically just tells the tractor whether the PTO is on or off. But uh, what I've come to notice with this tractor and you can kind of see here, you know, like how faded this is. I don't know if this tractor was stored outside or what, but there's a lot of stuff that seems to be faded. Um, I think it was in the weather a lot. So a lot of the switches and things, I think of it been exposed to the elements quite a bit because I have replaced quite a few things on it. Um, just little nickel and dime stuff. And uh, you know, that switch that we just replaced, it only acted up one time, but um, you know, again, it's just something I'd rather, I don't even remember what it cost. I think it was 15, 17 bucks. Honestly, I can't remember. I think it was under 20, whatever. But, uh, you know, to not leave me stranded somewhere and not that the tractor wouldn't work, but the PTO wouldn't work. Um, it's just not even worth it to not even deal with it. You know, just change it now and be done with it. So uh, the tractor has not le left me stranded anywhere. So far, it's been a good tractor, but just kind of preventative maintenance type things, you know, just trying to, uh, I, that's kind of the way I am. I'd rather change something now so that when I get busy, I try to eliminate as many breakdowns and things as possible what I can. So uh, anyway, any questions about today's video? Uh, just a real basic uh, electrical repair. Uh, leave it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and the thumbs up, please, on your way out the door. And uh, hey, hope to catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.